Okay, in this video we're going to conjugate a regular English verb. And if you never heard the word conjugate before, don't panic. All it means is to show all the various forms. And so that's what we're going to do. And in English this is pretty easy because we're going to fit all the various forms of, of the regular English verb on this one screen. Uh, if this was Russian or French, uh, it would take you know several hours of videos to go through all the different all the different forms but as we've said before English relies much more on word order to show us the meaning than it does on changes in the way we um, the way we spell the spell a given word so let's show that we'll start with a nice easy word cough and this is the base form, and this is the form that will show up in the dictionary. Okay, this is where you'll find the meaning in the dictionary. Now, we've got present and past, and in the present and past, we, we use these grids, first person, second person, third person, singular and plural, um, because especially when we get to regular verbs, you see why these are handy, uh, but for now let's just go with this so I cough you singular cough he she it coughs we just added an s there we cough you plural cough they cough let's go do the past I coughed you coughed he she it coughed we coughed you plural coughed they coughed then we have the ing form and this has a lot of uses like um, he she it is coughing okay and we'll do an entire video on the ING form because it actually has a lot of different uses. It can be used as an adjective, it can be used as a noun, and certainly it can be used as a, vowel, as a uh, verb. So we use the verb form right there. And then we have the ED form, which again uh, has multiple uses. And we'll do a whole video on that, coughed. Okay, and we call it the ED form because it ends in ED in the regular conjugation. And we call this the ING because it uh, almost always ends in the ING, this form. Uh, so, a couple things to note. We really, in a regular verb, we only have four forms. We have the base form, which we use for the present in the first and second person singular and the first, second, and third person plural. We have the S form that we use in the first in the third person singular. We have the E D form, same as down here, we use for all persons and, and singular and plural in the past. We have the ING form and we have the E D form. So we really only have four forms. So uh, again, how do you know if a word is regular you look it up in the dictionary okay and if you see like under cough and you won't see any other uh, forms given that means that these are the forms you use if there are other forms given that means it's more or less irregular 
So with that, I will leave you and go make another video.